Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the forecast and our TV and movie reviews. <laughs> Let's bring in Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. Yeah, well, I have nothing to review as far as that goes because <laughs> I haven't had a moment to blink my eyes. Why? Uh, to watch TV. We have a lot of film clients, and um, unfortunately, um, a few of them are in California, where, of course, you know, yep. there's no rain, but they're on the high wind warnings and red flag warnings. Uh, they're expecting winds uh, today. Uh, we're expecting winds today to guess to 60 miles an hour. Not good. Not wow. good at all. Yeah. So we have, we have problems there. But in the meantime, for us, this is the story. Sun and patchy clouds today. We'll have a nice one. Mid-60s. Bit of partly cloudy tonight. That is cold. Mid-40s. Weak front goes by Friday, so we have some with increasing clouds, but that's it, 60 to 65. That front will drop to the south of a Saturday, so I don't even think we'll have a shower. Well, clouds and some sun Saturday. And Saturday's not going to be bad. Low 60s. On the tail end of that front, a storm. We'll hook up to it in the Gulf of Mexico and come north and give us rain Sunday. And some of the rain Sunday heavy at times in the low 60s. Leftover showers Monday, highs in the 60s. All right. Uh, so now, <laughs> when's the uh, when's the shift to more seasonable fall weather? What do you, well? What do you mean by seasonal? This is seasonal. Is it really? Yeah. I mean, it's a little above, really. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. So, oh, yeah, it's a little above. Um, there will be a um, a pretty dramatic shift. I can tell you right now by Halloween. So, um, moms, for your uh, children's costumes, make sure you make uh, preparations for it to be on the warm side. No sheets. No, no, you no, no, well, no ghost you, sheets. You can go as a ghost, but underneath, make sure you wear a heavy coat. Yeah, I was never one of those kids that liked going out on Halloween. Neither I. I always got beat up. Well, it, well I, did, I didn't always get beat up. I got I used to have firecrackers thrown at me and stuff. But that wasn't the reason. I just didn't, even as a kid, I never liked going out in what I considered cold weather. Oh, well, that, that didn't bother me. But I do remember as a kid one time going out as a ghost, since you mentioned it, and coming home in assorted colors. Because <laughs> uh, I remember a bunch of kids getting on me with, uh, back in those days, they used to put chalk. Big, big chalk in socks, and they stay hit you with them. Do you remember that, Marshall? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, because I had a white sheet, I guess it made a great target, so I came back in all different colors. You know, in India, they have, a, 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 Arjun Singh tells us, they have a, 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 I think it's called Holy, Holy Day. And, and, and everybody throws colors at one another. Uh, and the, you know everybody is purple, orange, red, all these colors. This type of powder is thrown all over the place. Oh, powder. Okay. Yeah. And that, that should be a mess, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodness, when you tour with that, who's going to clean up that whole mess? I think they just wait till it goes away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, I started watching something last night. Uh oh. And you know it's not bad. It's an NBC TV series. It's right. called Manifest. Okay, I think I've heard of it. It's about a plane that's on its way back from a vacation, goes through a rough patch. You know, it's, people think they're going to die. And, it land, and what happens, the plane, when it lands, they find out it's been missing for five and a half years. And so it's a little bit like Lost Comes Home. Uh, they, all okay. came, they all came home. They all have something. It's pretty good, Pat. It's pretty yeah. good, and season one is over, and there is going to be a second season, and uh, and it's on Amazon Prime, so you can find it. Uh, but it's it's actually pretty good. You know, I used to like Lost until Lost really got way out there. I mean, way out there. And, right. And like season five, it was like, okay, enough of this. <laughs> but uh, I want to see where this goes. So, manifest. Well uh, okay, and what is that? That's all on Thursday, uh, two Wednesday nights. Yeah, but you can you can watch you can uh, 
you can watch uh, you can watch uh, at any time on Amazon Prime. They've got the whole season one there. Oh, okay. Because season two is going to come out, you know, of course next year. But but uh, so you can watch it any time on Amazon Prime. Okay, well that's good. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I had I was thinking uh, yesterday. I said, you know, anybody ever uh, sees what I'm doing, they say, you know, Pat, you really are a nut job. I was curious. On our steps, in the house, yeah. there is carpeting. Uh, it doesn't go the whole step. Uh, and on each step, there is a brass rod that holds the carpet into place. You've seen that. Yeah. I really love that look. I mean, it, it came with the house. Uh, otherwise, I would have opted, uh, you know, to have it done. Right. Uh, so I'm really glad it came with the house. So I said to myself yesterday, what do I do? Do I try to clean those brass rods or do I paint them? So a couple of people told me, now you don't want to really paint them. No. So not going to look good. So I got the old um, Noxon polish out. I took one rod out and I started. And lo and behold, it came out beautiful. So from that, I have um, three flights of steps, each one of them having six rods. There was 18. Yep. So I did 18 rods, and this was late yesterday afternoon when I was through my weather center shift. Took me a couple of hours, but I have to tell you, Marshall, it was well worth it. Yeah, you don't want to ever paint copper, no. Uh, brass. Brass, brass. You don't ever brass. want to paint me. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, most people probably would never, ever bother to do this. Say, oh, you know, the brass is tarnished. Leave it. It looks nice. It's with the carpet. But I like the way it looks. And it also gave me an opportunity when I took the rods out um, to vacuum underneath the rod, which, of course, we never get to. Yeah. So I was able to do all of that. It took me a couple of hours. But that was my project for the day yesterday. Yeah. And your project for the day was, of course, uh, enjoying your birthday. That's right. Went out and uh, had a... Uh... Uh, a nice birthday lunch where I had a, a lobster roll, but I had to deconstruct it because they put the lobster roll on a croissant. It doesn't go on a croissant. Come no. on. It goes in like a regular roll roll, a, a grinder roll, a hot dog roll, a brioche roll. So you corrected that? So I just got rid of the, and I had the lobster with the, you know, I, it was great because I didn't use too much mayonnaise. So I had lobster and, uh, and some, uh, what they call citric coleslaw, where there's no, there's no mayonnaise in. It. So the lobster was great, but it's just you know if you're gonna say if you're gonna sell a lobster roll, sell a lobster roll. I, I don't put it on a don't put it on a fancy dancy scancy piece of French bread. But you know like <laughs> people in Maine would drop dead if they would have seen this. But uh, but it was also went out to lunch. It was good. Uh, came home and. I got uh, some nice presents. I've got uh, now the complete, complete uh, set uh, of, uh, I keep forgetting the name of that French cook, Le Creuset. Uh, I got two more uh, frying pans, one a small one and one a 12-inch one uh, to go with my five other Le Creuset pots. So now the pots that I have and pans in my kitchen are worth more than the refrigerator. <laughs> really? <laughs> the refrigerator and the stove. <laughs> Wow, and I also got from uh, there's a there's a company in Mexico, uh, and people know that I like their their spices, and I got another like four or five bags of fresh Mexican uh, beans and some Mexican spices uh, as well, and uh, and some very nice uh, uh, sunglasses, and I got a whole bunch of uh, not a lot of nice things. So, and I well, heard from good. and I heard from over about about, about from about four hundred people, and that's nice. So. Okay, how many people? Four hundred. Wow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, because I really talk about my birthday. I love my birthday. Uh, and see, and I don't. Now, to me, you don't have to do a thing. Um, you can pass right over it. I'm fine. I love my birthday. I love the day I was born. I think it's the greatest day in the history of the world. <laughs> uh, you know, so does uh, so does our president. I know, I know, but no, no, not your birthday, his birthday. I, I know. Oh, oh, yeah. He would never think your birthday is great. No, 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 not me. No. As a matter of fact, he probably is trying to get my taxes released. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't think. You know, Marshall, I got to tell you, I got to ask. His family owns a restaurant in Armenia, New York. Yeah, uh, and and their extended family, but I, I won't I won't even go to that. <laughs> oh, oh, I won't okay. even go to that. As a matter of fact, I don't even drive by it. I bypass. Like, I true, I don't go. I don't go by it. <laughs> um, I have a quick question for you because I know we have to get out. You do remember my doctor from uh, over three years ago <laughs> who was put into a detention doctor in Brooklyn, Vinnie Bumbats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now my doc, I write to him. I mean, I generally get a letter from him every week. He's teaching religion there. He's teaching math uh, because he's trying to keep himself occupied. There is nothing to do. He said the detention center is filled of drug addicts. He said that will leave and come back, leave and come back. He's And meanwhile, he hears nothing from his attorney. Uh, nothing has been done. This man has never been trialed. This man has never been sentenced. And he's been sitting there now um, like a year and a half. Uh, just wasting away. What could be done? Uh, is there anything that I could do? Find him a new lawyer. Oh yeah, well. No, really. His, his lawyer's obviously not not doing anything. Or I'll contact his lawyer and say, "What's going on?" That's what I was thinking. I was thinking you know, I should ask him. Please give me a lawyer's name and address huh. so I could uh, contact the lawyer and ask him what's going on. That's yeah. all, that's all you can do as a friend. Yeah, because, you know, I do ask him questions um, from time to time, health-wise, and he always comes back immediately. This is what you have to do. You know, and he tells me, and you know, uh, do this, do that, do this, and it works out all the time. He's always been an excellent doctor. And, you know, I just shake my head. You know, what is he doing there? Uh-huh. You know, I, I, don't, I just don't understand. Uh-huh. Well, not even a trial. All right. Well, I would, call, I would call a lawyer and try to find out. Okay. All right. Toodles. Pat, I'll speak to you tomorrow. You got it. Take care. Pat began on this morning in the Weather Center with a check on the tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.